Cackalackin' y'all. It's your girl Anna Sioni here with another makeup review and I got my February Ipsy package and I'm so excited because I actually got the clutch I wanted. But anyways, <laughs> I wanted this one so bad and I got it and I'm so excited because it's so cute. But I have so much stuff to show you guys. By the way, makeup I am wearing is for Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. Um, and if you're wondering why I have pink hands, it's because I fell into a pool of fake blood for a makeup look I was doing. Anyways, so I wanted to show you guys all the stuff I got from Ipsy and I'm so excited. Um, it's going to be tons of stuff, tons of brushes and all kinds of junk. Um, so let's get started. Y'all, so the first bag I want to show you, of course, is this adorable little clutch. And it has like a little kiss on it. They had two different versions. One was like a pink and red striped. Uh, it was like luck of the draw. Whatever you got was what you got. But I got the one I wanted and it's so cute. It looks like a little envelope. And it on the back it says sealed with a kiss. And it's got the little ipsy whatever postage stamp thing. It's so cute. And it opens up like this. Oh, and this is a little kiss mouth thing. So cute. So, uh, so this was the small, uh, ipsy little bag, uh, that I got and let's see what we got inside. So the first thing is it's called clean it zero. It is a tri pale. My, hold on. I might need glasses. Hold on. All right. We're less blind now. Okay. So it is a tri pale acid cleansing balm pore clarifying thing. And this is what it looks like. It's this little tiny thing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it, I don't really know how to use it, <laughs> so we're going to have to figure that out. Uh, Google? Anyways, so that was one of the first things I got in uh, my little baggie. The next thing I got was a Hollywood, California... By the way, it had no smell. I smell everything. Um, this is Halloween... Uh, no, not Halloween. I am obsessed with Halloween, that's why. All right, Hollywood, California, Glam Glow Bright Eyes. And I'm assuming you put this on your eyes. Gently smooth and pat a small amount onto under eye area. Use daily as desired. It is a, an illuminating anti-fatigue eye cream. I'll probably use this for sure. Um, just because I've been... No smell. Uh, I've been obsessed with uh, using things for under my eyes because... I don't know. I've got like that darkness going on and like I'm getting older and whatever. So, you know, I've been using stuff. So this is cute, but it's so tiny. It's like a little sample kit. So, so we'll see how long that lasts. Um, another thing is, Ooh, I got this beautiful blush brush. Um, what the heck is the name? I'm terrible at reading. <laughs> You see me sit here for a long time. I'm like, what is that? Sorry. Uh, Shanae, Shanae B, Miami. I don't know if I said it right, but it's a really, really nice blush brush. I actually used it for the blush that I'm wearing, which I also got from Ipsy. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but this is a really, really nice brush. I needed new makeup brushes, so I opted to get all of uh, the makeup brushes that I could on this haul. And the next thing, oh my gosh. Okay, I usually use black face paint for all of this type stuff. Um, and doing my cat wing, whatever they're called. I got this in my Ipsy haul. And this is from Arcaselli, Araceli, Araceli maybe. Um, it is a eyeliner wand thing like pen whatever it's fucking fantastic excuse my language but it just is like look at this boom boom that's it and you fill it in and you've got a freaking fantastic wing like oh my gosh this thing is freaking amazing amazing look at it however um don't wreck it and do dots like I did. 
I ended up putting uh, face painted dots on because I didn't like the way that this, this doesn't do dots well. Uh, but I did do the little hearts with it just by doing this. So it's kind of like a face paint thing. Um, with the tip of it, you lay it down and then you kind of just stamp it and do it the other way. And you can make a little heart. So I just did different sizes. Uh, and made little hearts um, and you could use this pen for that but I wouldn't use it for the dots but this is like a freaking lifesaver I definitely want to get another one of these um, this is definitely staying in my makeup collection for sure so that's like a hundred percent a plus uh, another thing I got and um, yes it was this one I used today I used this today on my face uh, it felt so super soft uh, soft soft Anyways, it's a formula 10.06, I don't know what that means, uh, Thirst No More Moisturizer Fruit Complex with White Tea. It's a uh, quench, instead of squinting, let's use our glasses, Anna, uh, quench, squench, quench your thirsty skin with this powerful moisturizer containing all natural complex combination of watermelon, lentil, and apple extracts. Some big word I can't, huh, what does it say? Hyalochronic, I don't know. Acid delivers a second boost of moisture while white tea helps to maintain a fresh and radiant glow. Your skin will drink it in. Beautiful. And don't make fun of me for not being able to read. I just, I'm lazy right now and I'm not trying to sit there and sound it out. Um, this stuff is bomb. My face feels very soft and like, I love it. And it does feel like, like it does feel like your face drinks it up. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, so yes, this is what I got. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. My five items from this small glam bag. Now let's move on to the bigger glam bag because I've got, I've got both. I'm the membership for both now. So this is the next Glam Bag. It's the Glam Bag X. It's so cute. Love the little drawstring with the little kisses and it's red and it's pretty. And let's see what we got from here. And by the way, I ended up getting a lot of uh, extra add-on things. So I'll show you guys that stuff last. So for this one, I'm like, I'm like in between the love and hate for uh, this specific bag. Um, with the stuff I got in the inside. So the first thing I want to show you the blush that I got this beautiful blush. It's like gold and pink and oh, it's so shiny and beautiful. And I love it. Look, we're there in the mirror. Uh, this is from Melee or Melee, Melee, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but it's so beautiful and has so many different colors. Uh, the type that I used, was this uh, pinkish one here and it picked up some of this gold here. So these two, and that's how I got this beautiful color here. Love, love, love this palette and I will definitely be getting another one um, when I run out. So that's a, an awesome one. Let's see what else we've got here. Ooh, so this I got because I got this. <laughs> um, I've been wanting to try, so I'm a powder contour girl. Like I use powder on my face. I don't use a uh, thick concealer. I can't even move over here. Uh, I don't use thick concealer. I never have. I don't really know how to use it that well. So maybe that's why, but um, I had the choice of getting this Anastasia of, of Beverly Hills, um, which is funny cause it's close to my name. My name is Anastasia, Anastasia. Anyways. Um, so I got this because I wanted to try it and it's an expensive uh, foundation that I've heard of. I've never used it um, aside from getting it now, but this, this is in the color 360C. It's a luminous foundation. Let's see. It's gluten free, vegan, alcohol free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, op ophthalmologist tested, whatever that says. All this cool stuff, like it's it's cool, and it comes in a really shiny container. But this is what the bottle looks like. It's super nice, but look, bruh, that is not my color. Um, <laughs> definitely not. So I'm not gonna be using this. I'm gonna have to give it to someone or something. But I'll show you what it looks like 
when you open it, it's actually really cool. It has this like applicator thing, but this stuff scares me because it's so like thick. I don't know. I don't know how people use this stuff and they make it look so good. I'm kind of jealous. Like, teach me your secrets. Um, and maybe this is my color. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. But I'm going to just smear this in. And this is probably the problem because <laughs> I'm doing it with my finger and not a sponge. But it's so, like, that is not my skin color. Like, even when I, like, really, like, work it in like I put it all over my face and I was like I feel like a freaking Cheeto like it's just not the right color like y'all see that right like it's just it's not the right color it's too like yellowy orange or something I don't know it's just it's not right I don't like it uh so that one they got a thumbs down for that one from me and so because I've got that um I, I wanted to also have something to put it on with. So I got this awesome concealer brush. It's like a triangle brush. It's super thick. Um, the reason I didn't want to use it with this is because, first of all, this doesn't look like my color. And I didn't want to ruin the brush because I'm actually going to use this for body painting. Uh, because I feel like this will pick up so much of my body paint. And I'll just be able to, like, do it quick. Because um, I usually use kabuki brushes. But this is, like, got, I don't know. This will help get a lot of coverage too. Uh, plus it soaks up a lot of paint. So I'm going to be using this for body paint and I'll tell you how it comes out once I've uh, used it and done the thing. But this is a cool concealer brush from Complex Culture. Um, and it's so nice and it's like heavy duty. I flip and love it. So I'll let you know how that goes once I use that. So anyways, moving on, um, like I said, I got a lot of brushes. Uh, these two brushes I just got too. Um, this one is a contour brush and a highlight brush, and they are from Farah. Super nice. This is what I use to contour and highlight my face today. Um, they're super nice. They're heavyweight. Like, they're really good thick brushes. Uh, and then... Let's see what else we got. So the last thing in this this bag I got was another like skin thing. So I'm trying to learn more about skin cleansers because I've never really like, I mean, I wash my face, but I never used like actual skin cleanser things. Um, I just started using Cetaphil uh, and then someone told me that it's not good for your skin. So I'm like trying to do my own research and figure out what works for my skin. So anyways, oh, why did I take those off? Okay, this one is from Gold Gold Faden MD. It's a problem with uneven skin tone. Um, because I've got some like dark spots and stuff on my face. So I was just like wondering if it'll work. It's a vitamin D hyaluronic. I can't. <laughs> you read it. You read the damn thing. All right, and but it's like got gooseberry in it, and it's got all kinds of awesome stuff. It's mostly fat, multifaceted, hydrating moist, moisturizer, delivers a brightening glow uh, to all skin types. So it's an all skin type sort of a thing. I haven't used it yet, but I will use it and we'll let you know what it's like in my next video. When In my next haul, I'll talk about it. Um, yeah, so that is it for the big big bag and now I'm going to show you all of the little stuff that I got all the extras um hold on one second let me move this stuff around all right so I got a lot of eyeshadows um this one is from Illuminati uh the quad palette so it's like a four four in one and it's super shiny it's got some beautiful shiny pigments um and some more matte ones so I'll just do oh god I got that orange on my arm We'll see what it looks like on top of foundation, okay? So, this one is the first one, and I don't think they have names for the colors. They do not. Uh, this is the second one. I'll just put them all on, and then you can you can see what they look like. So that is the color tones that they have. There's a light color, a golden color, a more bronze color, and then a darker bronze. And I love this palette and I can't wait because I like, I like earth tones usually. Well, it depends like what I'm doing. 
Sometimes I go vibe, br bright and vibrant. Jeez, I can't even talk today. It's probably because I'm talking too much. Vite. I said it again. Bright and vibrant. Then I do gothy. And then I do earth tones. It depends on how I'm feeling for the day. So I got that because in case I want to do something more earthy. Then I got this other little tiny palette. Or it's not a palette. It's just one color. Uh, from Colorid Rain. It's like a shiny gold. Freaking love it. And don't make fun of my thumbs in the comments, okay? Just so you know, I have crafter thumbs because I hot glue and stab them all the time with things because I make things and I've got blood stuck on my hands. So just putting that out there in case I get comments about, you get weird thumbs. Yeah, I know. Anyways, pretty gold color. Let's see what it looks like. I haven't used this one yet. That is, can you see how freaking awesome that is? It is so like pigmented. That is beautiful. I'm going to definitely use that gold. I love gold eyeshadows. That's a keeper for sure. Love it. Okay. And then we got this one, um, wipe off my hand from phase zero makeup. What color is this? I don't know. Oh, this one's like a shiny purple. This is what the top looks like. But it's like a shiny purple color. Let's see what that looks like. Oof. That would look really nice with the gold. That is super pretty. And it's very shiny. Love it. That's a keeper. They're getting good reviews from me this month, that's for sure. Uh, then what else did I get? Oh, oh, I got another brush. Um, this one is another Farrah brush. Which kind is this? This is for pressed powders. Um, and like I said, these brushes are freaking fantastic. The Farrah brushes specifically, I love those. Those, those are now like my favorite brushes. Um, all right, so I got three more things to show you. This one is called um, Autobomb Pick Perf Shadows on the Go. So you can like take this and go with you. I mean, I feel like you could take any of your makeup and go with you. Uh, but this is what it looks like. And it's this like, it's called St. Saint Saint Charles Avenue. Um, but it's like a, I don't know, it's really soft. It's a soft, soft, soft shadow. Uh, and it's brown. It's the earth tone again. It's very light. You can barely see it. It's right there. Um, but I like it and I like soft colors like that. So, so that's going to be, that's going to come in handy for when I'm doing some stuff. Then I got this other, and it's so tiny, this little tiny thing. Um, it's so small, uh, but it's from IBY and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous brown metallic-y color. It's a lush eyeshadow fire and ice is the color. Um, and it's so pretty. It's like this brown, metallic-y, I don't know, gorgeous color. And that is what it looks like right there. I wish you could see it a little better. There you go. It's more metallic-y than it was looking. Um, but I love that. And like I said, my earth tones, I'm super happy about that. And the last thing that I got is this awesome setting powder. So it's loose setting powder number 213. And the brand is YC Collection. And that is what it looks like. And I am excited. I didn't use this on this look, but I'm going to definitely use it for future looks. And yeah, that is my haul. So much makeup in under 20 minutes. Yay, we did this video in under 20. But anyways, thank you guys so much for uh, continually, continually supporting me here on YouTube uh, and all the other social media platforms that I'm on, which are all linked down below on my website. Um, my website is basically like a link tree where you can just link up with me on all the different platforms. If you are following me 
uh, here. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to me yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm about to release a bunch of FX quick hacks um, videos, so you're going to see those soon. I do Shein haul videos where I pair my outfits with my makeup. Um, I do all kinds of crazy stuff, crazy makeup, whatever. Anyways, um, so if you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe to me. That would be so dope. And I'll subscribe back to you here. Uh, if you're following me on TikTok, I'm almost to 10K. I'm like a thousand away from 10K. And when I do that, when I get 10K followers, I'm going to do another giveaway where I'm giving away, hold on, I'm going to show you what it is. I'm giving away this fantastic book that my husband and I made about Fright Kingdom, My Haunted House. It is a kid's book. Uh, it's on the scarier side, so if you're if you're a creepy kid like me, definitely the book for you. But it has a positive message about not judging people uh, by their appearance. And um, if you guys follow me there, make sure to look out for my live because I'm going to do a live random winner. I already did one for 5K followers and I gave away two books. So this one I'm going to give away a few books and also a headdress that I've made. So be on the lookout for that. Also, um, yeah, all the products that I've got, I will link down below, uh, and you guys can check them out on Ipsy. Um, without further ado, I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Make sure to love yourself, drink water, take a bubble bath, whatever makes you happy. Do that.